Okay, guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick video to explain to you how to access the guided notes. Um, I found a much easier way to do this, so I'm going to share that with you today. So that way I don't need to post them in Google Classroom for you, and they should be pretty easy for you to access. So I'm going to show you on my computer, but on the Chromebook it looks very, very similar. So let me go ahead and show you. Uh, for starters, I'm in the biology curriculum, but this works for health and biology both, anything within Edmentum. So you're going to click on the tutorial for a lesson. And I know your screen looks a little different than mine, but once you start the tutorial, it should look something like this. There we go. So this should look familiar to you. Here's the starting of the tutorial. And over here on the left, you have some options. Now, I don't know if you played around with these, but here you can have it read it to you. If there's a lot of reading and you want it read aloud, I know some kids like that. Um, got a dictionary, but more importantly, click the resources tab. And what pops up? Guided notes. If I click on them, it's going to open a new tab. And again, it'll do this on the Chromebooks as well. And here is my new tab. And if I just click right here, DNA, blah, 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 blah. I can type right into it. Um, DNA replication, blah, 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 blah. I can type things right into each space. I'm in the pictures when there's things to label. There's boxes already there. So I can just type right into them. DNA. And it shows right up there. Now, when I'm done, to be able to turn this in, you're going to have to download a copy of it. So on the computer, you see this black bar that shows up right here. This is the download button. You're going to click that. And I want to save it with my changes. And I'll just download it to you know, probably my Google Drive is what I would download it to. Um, on my computer, maybe I'd put it on my desktop and I'll attach it from there. If you're on a Chromebook, you'll just want to select Google Drive over here and then save it to your Google Drive. Uh, for me, I'm just going to save it to my desktop just because that makes it an easy place. It's got some funky name, so I'm going to call it Guided Notes on DNA. Boom. And I'm done with that window. So when I get all done and I want to turn it in, I'm going to go to Google Classroom. And in Google Classroom, I guess I can't show you because I don't have the kid version of it. But in Google Classroom, you'll select the right class. You'll go to the right assignment and you'll hit add attachment and you'll just select it from your Google Drive or from your desktop. And then you can attach it that way. So what I will do in biology and in health is I will create an assignment and it will just say guided notes and then the title. So guided notes, mutations, and then it'll just be blank. Your job will be to fill out the notes online or to print them off and fill them out by hand and take a picture either way, and then just attach that to the assignment. So I'm not going to attach it anymore and send it to you. I'm just going to have you access it from Edmentum, and it seems to work a little bit smoother. So if you have questions, let me know. But hopefully that helps a little bit.